I mentioned in the video in the previous lesson that the uh, over the years teaching I've discovered that the distance formula and the midpoint formula have about a 96% chance of freaking anybody who first sees them out because they have so many letters in them. <laughs> but really, neither one of them are that complex when you sort of break down what they're made of and uh, how we arrived at them. The midpoint formula just tells you where the middle of a line actually is. And to do that, what it does is tell you the middle of the x-coordinates. So the mid of the x-coordinates. And then it also tells you what the middle of the y-coordinates is. And that's where this, this x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2 comes from. To find the middle of the x-coordinates, we just take the two x-coordinates, and this, for our purposes over here, we have a 0 and a 3. So this line has one, one point whose x position is at 0 and the other point whose x position is at 3. And what we want to do is find the middle of those two positions. So we want to find the average of 0 and 3. Well, to find the average of two numbers, what you do is add them together and divide by 2, right? Well, that's what we have up here. If you look at the midpoint formula, we have the first x-coordinate and the second x-coordinate, and they're added together and divided by 2. So we're just finding the average of the x-values. Well, for our example, 0 plus 3 over 2. Well, that's 3 divided by 2, right? It's equal to 3 halves, or 1 and 1 half. That tells us that the average x-coordinate would be right here. So the, the middle of those two lines is right here on the x-coordinate. So now if we just knew where the y1, y-coordinate was, we'd know where the middle of that actual diagonal is. So we do the same thing for the y-coordinates. We say the y-coordinates start at 4 and go down to 0. So if we start up here at 4 and go down here to 0, well, the average would be 4 plus 0 over 2, because we're adding the two points together and dividing by 2. Well, 4 over 2 is 2. So that tells us that the average of the y-coordinates is at 2. So for our line right here, if we have a line that runs across, let me do it in white, if we have, actually have a line right here that connects these two points, here to here, then the middle of that line is right here at 2 and, oops, I'm sorry, at 1 and a half and 2 because the x-coordinate goes first, my bad, 1 and 1 half, 2. All it is is the average of the x values and the average of the y values. There's nothing more complicated than that to it. It just looks creepy because we have all these letters in there.